Originally, shepherd's pie was used for leftover pot roast, and they put it with kidneys. And, uh, well, I'll eat anything, but uh, I don't think kidneys are as popular today <laughs> as um, they might have been <laughs> some years ago in the British Isles. So um, I just use the ground beef, or you could use ground lamb, too. The smaller you chop the veggies, the quicker they're going to cook. I don't use frozen carrots for this um, for a couple of reasons. You know, they're going to add a little too much liquid to the pan, and I like that all-day cooked taste, even though we're doing it quick. Okay, and then you give this a quick chop, get that in there. See, when you work right next to the stove like this, big time saver. Now, the potatoes that I use on top of this, they're really tasty, and they brown up really nice because I'm going to put a little egg yolk in them. So you can actually separate this meal out. You can use it as a topper for this, but it also makes a great side dish just when you're making steaks. I'm gonna season this up now, a little salt and pepper. I think we're off to a pretty good start there. Two tablespoons I need of the butter into the pan. And a couple tablespoons of flour. Now you know me, I don't have measuring spoons, so literally take a big spoon. <laughs> you want the flour and the butter to cook together so you don't have a raw flour taste. Now this gravy is wonderful. You can put it on everything. Put it on steaks. I eat uh, a lot of burgers with no bun these days. It's great on that with sauteed mushrooms and onions. So you just put your flour and your butter together and then you're going to whisk in one cup of beef stock. And then instead of using those gravy colored gravy, you know, like super condensed bullion things that are just really salty and I don't personally care to use them too much. Uh, I add Worcestershire sauce to pick a quick pan gravy like this. Adds a little color and it's very yummy. Add the peas to my ground beef mixture. A couple of handfuls will do you. About a half cup. If you don't like peas, yes, you can leave them out. I always get asked that. Can I leave that out? Of course, it's your recipe. When you make it at home, it's your recipe. Now the gravy's gonna go right in here. Pour this over this. How yummy does that look? Mix that all together. Mmm, oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now I'm gonna put this into this. This big pan of meat, I'm gonna get into my casserole here. Sure, pick the heaviest pan, Rach. That was smart, let's see. There we go. Easy does it now. Oh, a lovely beef facial. That'll be nice for my skin. <laughs> Perfect. Groovy. Now, I want the topping to brown up a little bit, so I'm going to mix uh, some sour cream and a little bit of heavy cream, or you could use half and half, whatever you got in the fridge, um, together with an egg yolk so that it browns up a little bit underneath the broiler. Works, works, works. Okay, a couple of scoopfuls of my sour cream. Just eyeball it. Dab will do ya. You could also use, you know what else is great? Softened cream cheese. If you've got cream cheese in the fridge because you like bagels and cream cheese in the morning, something like that, you could also use some softened cream cheese in this. About a half cup of milk or cream or half and half. Mix that together and then I'm gonna add the egg yolk to that. That's so that the egg yolk doesn't cook when I add it to the hot potatoes. Okay, I just need the yolk here. You want a large egg. Separate that guy out into the garbage bowl, girl's best friend. Add that to there. Honestly, this is such a crowd pleaser. Little kids love this dish. Of course, what's not to like? And it's so much quicker than original shepherd's pie because shepherd's pie was designed to use up the pot roast. You have to make the pot roast first. And then traditionally, it was combined with kidneys. Now me, I love kidneys. I will eat anything. But this dish I designed to go more in keeping with what people like to eat today. And ingredients you can find right in the regular grocery store. I'm gonna scrape all of that out there. Beautiful. Okay, and where's my masher? Got my masher. Get that going. Get this out of here and onto there. Yum. Now, come on, who wouldn't love this, huh? Ground beef fresh potatoes, and because we cooked all these components separately and they're fully cooked, all that's left to do now is to brown the potatoes. 
and cook up the little bit of egg that's in there with them. Okay, now you just smooth it out nice and pretty. Lovely. And then I put just a little paprika on it for a big ta-da. Now, does that look like it took less than 30 minutes? I don't think so. That's some home cooking good looking. Okay, drop that down. Keep it about six to eight inches away from the broiler until it's just golden all over the top. 